Sunday and I thought I have a little chat with you guys um, I wanted to talk about my faith I think I haven't really communicated lots of it in the past few videos I can't really even remember the last time but I feel like in the beginning of YouTube I was sharing way more about my faith and now like this morning again I was just like thinking about it and yeah I thought I'd share a bit my thoughts so um, maybe you don't know but I'm Christian like Protestant and um, I really wanted to find like a church um, here in Sweden again but it turns out it's a bit more difficult to find like a church which has English like services in English and my my Swedish is definitely not on the level so I can listen to a Swedish service but um, yeah I only found uh, Hillsong in Gothenburg which was really cool but um, yeah the point of me like talking about my faith is also that I wanted to share more that I'm I'm struggling a lot <laughs> with my faith I would say this year and I think I kind of feel like it increases the, the older I get. Um, I think on social media, on social media, you always, or like I always, just see people who are like so on fire and are like really into the faith and are like surrounded by a community which is supporting them and they're going to church, they're reading the Bible, and I find it really inspiring. But most of the time i must say it also in my head it's like oh i'm not doing enough or like i wish i could be in that stage again because this morning for instance i thought of the one time i think i was like i don't know maybe like 1920 when i was a team leader at a church back in germany and i was like going on this like two-day camp or something and I was like the the leader or like organizer of one small girls group. I think there were about like 12 or 13. And I was at that age like really, I think my faith was quite strong. And then I was like um, really encouraging them to read the Bible. And I read, I read it with them as a group. And I was like saying it is so nice to read the Bible and it's, um, that it gives me a lot and I was there in the position that I could um, be so on fire and like shared with the young girls back then and today I was like wow um, with faith it's really not just um, always going up and like you get stronger and stronger in your faith and your relationship to Jesus gets like closer it's especially for me it's really a roller coaster and it's definitely hard because sometimes I'm a bit jealous of those people who always stay like in in one city they always go to that one church they have friends they know from like I don't know school and they just can strengthen their faith within this community and be like leading like youth groups or something like that I, I find it so beautiful if you you're really like know all the people and you just know the church and I haven't had that in a really long time I don't think I really had that that much in my life before maybe when I was like younger but I think um, because I'm moving so much it really affects also I think the depth of my faith because I must say in general I am quite I think an externally driven person um, like I find it more difficult to motivate myself for things and I'm more of a <laughs> procrastinator and I'm really good when it comes to like planning things with other people and like I don't know you get just so much more um, encouragement and strength when you 
uh, have people around you who are strong in their faith and you go to church and so on and yeah this like traveling so much and trying to find your own church really i think it's difficult because now i can really see that um i'm not getting so much um input from my surroundings and i think i wanted to share that because i feel like there is such a lack in a bit in showing the full thing of being a christian i think also when you're not religious um cr being a christian is like all on the same level and i want to communicate more that it's it's really a wide spectrum how a person is in their faith and like in what stage kind of and for instance i also find it sometimes difficult when people ask about my faith like this year for example because like yes i am christian but um when then people want to know more about my faith i sometimes feel like oh i need to take this opportunity and try to share about the good connection and um yeah the love of jesus and but then it's so hard when you're not at the peak of your yeah of your faith and you're not that much on fire and then when you talk like talk with another person about your faith and then afterwards i feel like uh, i don't think the person really got what i what my faith looks like and what i value about it um it's sometimes also a bit disappointing but um yeah still i i like talking about that topic but you know i think it is important for me to talk about this because i i think this year i went to church maybe like five to ten times times or something and every time not every time but most of the time i must say the services were quite disappointing so i also really struggle with finding the right church i don't think there is like a perfect church but finding services that really reflect my values because i really went to some services this year where i was like so shook i was sure i i would not go into the church again and yeah that you know that not all christians are fond of every christian service that you experienced and um yeah i i really struggle with that and um i i am sure that there are more people who are more in like the in between and not like full on fire but um yeah I just wanted to say I think the one thing I really learned throughout being um, traveling and knowing that my faith um, is not like as stable as maybe for other people um, I think I learned that it's just so important to know that like Jesus is always there and you, like we should never be afraid of going back to our faith and going back to listening to music and going back to praying because that's is I think the least that um, God wants that um, we are scared of like I don't know being like a bad Christian because there is not like bad or good in that sense and yeah I just want to encourage you because I, I really struggled in the beginning with that um, just getting back to it and um, I really have difficulties finding my bag also into it but um, I think just this week I was listening to more worship and it always makes me feel so good and um, also if I don't like can feel every single sentence of a worship song like you can still listen to it and it's um, yeah it's important what your heart says and sometimes we can't show like all these actions like reading the bible going to church and everything all at once but um yeah i don't know if that even makes sense i don't think it was well structured but i just had to get these 
thoughts out there because um, it's just a topic that um, yeah, I'm, I really communicate also with my friends and like that, they, that I also see that they have similar um, struggles and yeah, I really just for myself want to just be in faith when it's like affecting me like positively or like I, I don't know, I can share more love and I can strengthen my relationship with Jesus and I never really I never want to connect faith with something negative. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop here, but um, maybe someone could relate to those feelings. Uh, I would love to read um, what you're thinking in the comment section, or you can DM me, but um, yeah. to the supermarket this morning and the sun is out motivation to go because Kaho is also sick and then I don't know this week is kind of tough it's quite emotional and like I don't know there are like new things happening and I don't know it's it's getting a bit tough and we like again have to study for things and have a lot of group work and I don't know, I'm also just a bit emotional and so I really had to find motivation to go like to the lecture and I had to go to the supermarket because my charging cable for my phone doesn't work anymore so I really had to go and then in the morning I really had to like motivate myself and be like, come on Hannah, like like a year ago you would have done anything to live like a day in Sweden and study fashion and that was like my motivation this morning to be like I don't know make make something good out of this day and um, but yeah it, it took me a lot of like energy and I wanted to film because I bought this today it's called Jules Mousse or so and it's kind of like the Christmassy coke here in Sweden and I thought I'd try it with you. I hope it oh, it's easy to open. I must say I don't really drink coke that much. I don't really like it a lot because I can like feel the sugar on my uh, teeth and I, I don't know I prefer like Sprite or something. Um, so let's see. <laughs> oh god, it's like, I don't know, you have to try it yourself. It's kind of like the taste of candy. So... I would I would rate it the same as Coke, so not too high. But I think it's the the branding, the logo is cute. <laughs> I think they also have it in other flavors. Other than that, to be honest, I left lecture an hour earlier because there was no room anymore for listening longer to the lecture. Even though it was interesting, but it was just like information <laughs> going in and out and I am craving a 20 minute nap and just 
just chill and but I must say I'm proud of myself that I even went to the lecture this morning and grocery shopping it's fine <laughs> you can't do everything always so just looked through the video clips and I think this will already be the end of this video I think this one is not as like adventurous as the other ones because I must say um, I have just so much uni work to do um, I hope you're fine with me talking a lot in this vlog um, but I thought I share too maybe that's a bit random but I wanted to share this for a long time um, because I just came out of the f out of the shower I remembered so I'm using this um, cleansing gel it's from youth to the people and I got it last year from my sister um, and I love it a lot I like to use it under the shower just for my face and um, for my birthday I asked for this cream um, and yeah, it's by the same brand and it's just a moisturizing cream and it's called superfood air whip Cream and I really feel like it's it's so lightweighted and I like it a lot um, So yeah, my sister is more into skincare than I am But um, I think this is really good. I like those products or like the brand quite a lot and I thought I could share these with you um, otherwise the whole weekend and the whole next week and so on I will just study um, we need to um, memorize 80 pages <laughs> it's about supply chain and um, yeah it will be a lot so yeah I am not sure if I can I'm not sure when I am able to edit it this vlog I'm trying to edit a bit today but um, yeah, just so you know, I'm really just studying, like also today it's Saturday and tomorrow it's Sunday, we're just gonna study the whole day and yeah, I must say I'm not used to this, my bachelor was a bit more like assignments and not exam based because we will have an exam which will be in the like in the morning we will have three hours and then in the afternoon we will have three hours of exam and yeah <laughs> I didn't have that for a long time I think last time was actually in school but uh, yeah thank you for being here I hope you have a nice day whenever you're watching and um, yeah I see you next time bye <laughs>